Hi all, it's Tammy from Green Tea Design Co. And welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you um, something I've been working on. And I took a little break from making embellishments and challenges and stuff. And um, I was watching some videos and I came across the book vandal shop. And um, she had some really neat um, junk journals made with envelopes and I've been making junk journals for a long time. Um, if you go back on my very first um, videos, there are some junk journals and mini albums and things like that. I just absolutely love doing that and haven't been doing it for a while. So I thought, well, let's give that a let's give this one a try because I thought it was so neat. So um, she did two different ones and I combined them because I just love them. So this is, um, and I'll link both of her videos down below because she does great tutorials on how to make them. And so I, I combined the two that I'll link below. Um, so this is the cover. And again, these are made from envelopes and these are just these giant envelopes I have from, um, I think I don't have them handy. They're from Christmas, so they do have a little bit of red around the bottom, but I just inked them up with some vintage photo um, from Distress Oxide from Tim Holtz and I just like the kind of vintagey feel and the, <coughs> the letter feel so um, the collection I used is uh, Lavender by Prima and that is just one of my favorites I'm almost done with that paper pad and I'm gonna be so sad I'm hoping I can go find another one at <laughs> Hobby Lobby um, but some of the things I did in this, I just did some collaging and I did some wax seals and um, just a lot of fun things I, that I haven't done in a long time and wanted to just get back to while um, we we're on these quarantines. So um, let's go inside. So you just open it up and this is the back. So I just put some little seam binding that I hand dyed um, underneath this um, back page. And there's one of my stickers. You can barely see it. Um, people have been asking um, where I get those. And those are from my shop. I make these. So, and they come in eight different styles. And um, I don't know where mine are right now. <laughs> uh, I can't find them. They were right here. Um, but I have eight different styles. You can get a sampler pack that has um, all eight in it, or you can buy them by the sheet. So this one says Handmade with Love by Green Tea Design Co. And they're clear stickers, or I can do um, white matte stickers. And that's just how they, those look. And if I can find them by the end of this video, I will show them to you, but I don't know where I put them. They're usually sitting right here. So anyway, so here's the front, and then you just open it up. And uh, this was this one was from like one of her. This cover was from one of her other uh, junk journals that she made, and I absolutely love it. So she took four different envelopes. This one was a just a regular, um, I think it's a four envelope, just a invitation size. So that one's just a flip there. This one was just one of the the um, business envelopes that are just the short ones regular mailing envelope and um, there and then I added a little wax seal here and then this one was a junk mail envelope so this one had a uh, um, a window that I added something behind and collaged that up and that's that one and then this one was a bigger um, junk mail envelope and I put some stuff in that window and um, did that and then here's this, just this page. And I haven't done anything. I think I might add a pocket right here, though. Um, I haven't done anything to this page yet. So that's this. I don't want to add, make this one too thick, though. You could add some pictures here if you wanted to, only because um, it's, it's kind of thick already. 
and I don't want it to, I want it to be able to close, so. So this is the, the front cover with, with all these. And then you open it up and I put a signature in, I sewed in a signature. So, and this was just some, um, I'll get to that, that papers I made. So here is just a pocket. I just put a pocket here and, and another wax seal with a rose and just added some. I had some tea dyed um, bank envelopes and I tea dyed some paper. This is a a music, a blank music sheet right here that I just folded up and tea dyed. And I'll tell you what, our coffee dyed these. Um, the coffee I used, uh, these smell so good. I uh, just used the coffee I had at my house. We're not big coffee drinkers here. Um, we I drink a lot of tea. So, um, but I did have some coffee, uh, the little K cups, and this was a salted caramel. And oh my goodness, these smell so wonderful. I had to have a cup when I made it because it just smells wonderful. And now these still smell just delicious. So those are wonderful. This little, um, this is the signature I made, and it's just a little little book. So I added um, paper from the collection. And this might even be a different collection. This might be from Poetic Rose. I have a couple Prima collections. I just love Prima paper, so. But um, it matched because it was the purples, and I did this one in purples. And then I coffee dyed some paper, and like I said, these smell so good. This is like a um, a thick vellum. It's like a vellum card stock, so um, it's, it's quite thick. So it's a vellum that I coffee dyed. And here is a... Um, a sheet that I printed. Uh, I, this is a Prima design that I just um, scanned and then um, printed on some tracing paper and then I used Nick the Booksmith's um, how she makes vellum out of tracing paper. So that's what I did and I'll link her that video down below and you can see it's you can see through and it's clear and it's just um, beautiful. So I added that and here's some more of that blank music paper I coffee dyed. And then I added little tags here. I didn't stitch on this. Um, I have my sewing machine, I, I, my old sewing machine I put away because I got a new sewing machine. And um, I haven't quite figured out how to use it yet. So <laughs> I'm going to work on that today too. So um, I just used the um, Tiny Attacher by Tim Holtz. Just this little thing. And it has little mini staplers. So staples. So I just... Um, Attach those. You see those. And so I did some tags, and then this is just some graph paper that I coffee dyed. And again, I attach some little um, ribbons that match the or trims that match the collections. Here's another one of those uh, paper. Just keeps folding down here. Um, these papers I made another one, and then this one is from the um, lavender collection. And it's another one of those um, tracing papers that I printed and then um, you use a clear spray paint and um, it makes like a vellum. And again, um, that's from Nick the Booksmith and I will link that tutorial down below. There's another piece of that vellum, um, regular vellum cardstock that's been coffee dyed. This one is another page of... Um, this is an, a different Prima collection, but another vellum I made. Um, this one is from, uh, what's it called? It's called Pretty Pale, and it's a Prima collection. And it is this one right here, Pretty Pale. And it has, it's really a nice one. So I mixed quite a few collections in this page, <laughs> in this book actually, but I really liked it. And um, so I scanned one of those pages that I liked and um, made this into a, printed it on this tracing paper and then made a vellum. So that's that, and then you can see, it's really cool. Here's a dot grid paper. I just made this paper on my, the dots on my um, computer and printed it out on white paper and then coffee dyed this. And this is the middle of my signature. Then I added another little tag here and here's the back side of that other piece, that vellum I made with the pale, uh, pretty pale from Prima. Another piece of the vellum that's been coffee dyed, the back sides. 
and like I got some oh you could just smell this it smells so good I want to go make a cup of coffee um, this one really stained up pretty nice it's got some neat markings on it here's the back side of that um, Prima paper and again the grid here's another piece with a little piece of trim that I um, stapled on with a tiny attacher add some marks lots of places to journal or draw or sketch whatever you like to do here's um, another that back piece of that butterfly um, vellum piece I made this is a vellum paper that vellum cardstock with another little um, ribbon attached and then there's the back of that signature and again it's sewed in um, to the um, binding and then I covered where I sewed it with this really pretty pur purple trim that I got from Hobby Lobby so in so that's this is the um, back of the front cover page right here so this I added just a belly band and I added another um, wax seal I've been used I got my wax seals so long ago and I just they've been hiding in in my stash so I was cleaning and reorganizing and I got them out so I've been using them a lot lately actually so and I just love it so here's some little cutouts from the collection this piece right here is from uh, the pale pretty pale collection it's from their um, their little ephemera kit I made a tag this is I believe from poetic rose no this one is from uh, lavender frost Prima Lavender Frost. So you see, I mix quite a few of the um, Prima collections. It just, I love Prima, so I have quite a few of their stacks. So here's a Lavender Frost, and then this is a copper, um, metallic copper paper that I had in my stash. Here's another piece of the vellum that I made. You see, this turns out so neat. I just love how it feels. So I added a piece of that so she can use it and then another piece of the folded um, grid paper and that's all behind this little belly band and then you close this up this is so again this is the front cover and then the front cover flips open this way and then I have two pockets here well let's do this first there's another envelope here that's a flip and I did another um, wax seal and collage this up and that just flips open this is a pocket just put some little cards and I did that to all the envelopes and things they all have like little inserts in them so that opens and then there's two pockets here big pockets here and I just added some more of that vellum I made and then some of the uh, dot grid papers and just fill those in those pockets so something to write on or sketch on or draw on whatever you want to do so added those and that is this little quick little junk journal I did and oh my goodness I just love how it turned out and I am going to um, give this to a crafty friend and some happy mail, and I really hope she likes it. So here it is again. Hope you all liked it. Thanks. See you in the next crafty video.